I'll be comfortable saying whatever I feel needs to be said to Coach Devine or Coach Weaver or any of the coaches on the staff. You know, that's why Chrissy uh, presented me with this opportunity. She felt I was the right person. Uh, I will certainly not let her down. You know, again, uh, my, my motivation with making whatever statements I need to make to any coaching staff member will be the players. It will be uh, making sure that we're doing everything right for them and, and winning football games here at Delaware. We've got to stay together. You know, that, that's what I said to them yesterday. That will be the message uh, going forward, being together. Uh, it's, it's not different from what Coach Brock preached. It's something that I truly believe in. We're only going to get this done together. You know, we, we have a lot of goals, some lofty, some very um, simple, maybe from an outside eye. But the only way we're going to get anything done is together. And right now, uh, the team is, is, so to speak, fractured uh, because our leader, our, 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 the person who was leading our, our team and our family, is now not with us anymore. But uh, we certainly still have a goal uh, to accomplish on a weekly basis. We certainly still have uh, you know, things that we need to get done. And uh, you know, every, every guy in this program you know, came here for a reason. And uh, you know, most of those reasons are still in front of us. So we want to uh, we want to make sure we're doing things, and we want to make sure we're doing them together. I'm going to take time, as I said, listening. Uh, I'm going to bring the players together, uh, ideally probably early next week, and getting their perspectives. Their voices matter. Their voices matter. This is their leader. Uh, and I want to hear from them what they believe is going to be most important to them uh, as we move things forward.